What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make world edit out of commands. So I'll be showing you three main different things that you can do to help you build. So it's not going to be exactly like the Java edition of course and as well uh, I'll be making another video soon showing more things you can do like uh, about it, like around this concept to help you build. So, uh, I'll do the simplest one first, um, so what you're gonna wanna do is just build a platform, um, I would suggest making it a circle, so, it doesn't have to be anything nice, but I'm just gonna do this quickly, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the coordinates of the corners, so I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna type slash clone, and then the block I placed is just to get the coordinates. Um, and then here, and then once I have that, I'm gonna count, I'm gonna place a block in the middle, and then count how many it takes to get out to a side. So, it's just two. So, and then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually take this command that I typed here, copy that, place a command block down, have it just impulse and always active, exit that, then now I go back in it. I'm gonna paste that command block, uh, that command in there, and now, where I counted 2, that's going to be important here, because it's going to be tilde, negative 2, tilde, tilde, negative 2. And then after this, you're going to want to make sure you do mast normal. Now, for this, uh, you're going to need to have a keyboard to do this, but you need to press control and then your pick block button. And then what that'll do is that'll actually pick block the command block with the command in it. As you can see, it says plus data. So, now if I come over here and place it, I have a platform. So, I can just do this if I want. It'll, if I want to do something quick, like, I could have a path going up. Uh, yeah, so this, you can do whatever block, whatever size. Um, I would suggest making it a circle rather than a square. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but in my opinion, it's just better. Um, okay. So, now. Uh, like I said, I'll be showing you three different ways, uh, yeah, to do things to help you. So, the next way that we're going to make something with World Edit is going to be a sphere. Now, again, like the platform, you can do this whatever size you want. But, I'm going to just do one that's not too big, not too small. So, I'm going to build this. I'm going to, yeah. So, I'm just building a sphere right now. Um, if you are doing this yourself, you can build a sphere I'm building. Um, you can make one yourself, um, however you want, but, yeah. Um, so, if you're gonna be doing the sphere I'm doing, just, I guess, build it how I'm building it. Here, I'm gonna build a 5x5 five five cube. So, that's 1, and then 2, 3, 4... And I'm actually going to do a fill command to make it go faster. So there we go. Get that corner. And then this corner here. And then, oop, I need to put diamond block. Okay. And actually I did that a little too high, but I just need to knock out the corner. So. And then like the bottom, just put a plus sign, uh, across, whatever you want to call it, on each side. So I'm almost done with that, there we go, and I believe I have one more to do after this, yep, okay, and now what we're going to do is, like the platform, you need to find the corners, so I'm going to take a gold block to mark out the corners, so there's one right here, and then if I come over here, it's going to be right here, and then actually up a block, so once I've marked that out, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing I did with that. So, get the coordinates. So, like this. And then get the other corner. Like so. Once you've done that, you can break your block. So, you don't even need blocks. It, it just helped me get the coordinates. Um, and then, similar to the platform, you're going to place a block in the center and count how many it is out. So, one, two, three. And if it's a perfect sphere, it should be the same if I'm doing it from this block and going up, or down, or left, or right, whatever. It should all be the same. So, I'm gonna place a command block, and then 
it should be in pulse and always active. Make sure you get out of the command block after you place it and change the settings. Now I'm going to edit the command, paste my clone command in. Oh, actually that is the one for the platform. This is the correct one for me. So I'm going to paste this and then tilde, and then it was three blocks out. So I'm going to put tilde negative three and then tilde negative three and tilde negative three. Oh, and then make sure you put mass normal, just like the platform. So once you have that, uh, you just need to press control and click pick block. And now I have a sphere, so I can place it around. I can, I could change the blocks if I want. Uh, I could use this as a temporary thing and then fill diamond blocks something else. It's really up to you what you want to do with this. But yeah, this is another way to speed up your building. So this last way is going to be more than just a single command block. Um, but this is going to probably be the most efficient. So, yeah, I'm going to use the same sphere. You need a sphere for this. So, I'm going to place the block down. Uh, put it on repeat and always active. And then I'm going to do in, uh, enchant. And then I'm going to put my gamer tag. So, there we go. So that, and then I'm just going to do lore. It can be whatever enchant you want, but you'll see why I'm doing that in a second. After that, I'm going to put execute and then my game attack so samster 10 yt to tilde tilde tp uh, tp at e type equals rabbit and then put three up arrows and then this is how far away you want it to be um like for you'll see just keep watching if you i would take a break from doing the commands right now and just watch till the end and then come back to this part and do it from here. I'm just going to do 15 because that's not too far, not too close, and it's pretty good for, like, it's pretty good to work with. So make sure that's repeating and then always active. And then one more, uh, repeating always active, which will be effect at E, type equals rabbit, and then resistance, up oh, if I can spell is this, uh, this, there we go, I believe I spelled that right, and then, it doesn't really matter what you put here, I'm just going to put 5-5, five, five. and then, after that, there we go, yep, spelled it right, I'm going to take a comparator, find my enchant command block, and then put it after that, so when I do that, I'm going to put a command block here, which execute at E, type equals, equals, rabbit and then toad tilt tilde and what i'm actually going to do is go to my sphere i made uh find the corners so pretty much same as last time get the coordinates down so again you don't have to place blocks in it's just the way i get the coordinates it helps for me so here's another corner once i have that i'm going to copy this all and then I'm gonna place a block in the center count out just like the previous times it's three so I'm gonna remember that number and then I'm gonna come over here now I'm gonna paste my clone command then put tilde and then the number is three so negative three tilde negative three tilde negative three and then I'm gonna put mass normal what mass normal does, it just makes it so it doesn't clone error. So when you're doing things like this, it really helps. So now, all you got to do, once you've done those commands, is summon a rabbit. And then, as you can see, it's in front of me where I'm looking. And now, you have to grab a fishing rod. I would be careful, make sure you're holding something so you won't immediately hold the fishing rod. Because what this uh, part of the world edit does is actually, it's like a brush. So wherever I look now is where it'll put a sphere. You can have this sphere be whatever you want. I'm just using diamonds as an example. But yeah, I can move it around. Wherever I look is where it goes. And yeah, if I want it to be further out, all I have to do is edit the command block where it is teleporting the rabbit so right here i'll do i don't know why not 50 and if you i'm on a flat world so if you look into the void it will kill your rabbit um so you would have to summon a new one 
Uh, so, yep, just like this, it's way out there. And now if I do this, it's the same thing. It is wherever I'm looking, it is putting a sphere. And yeah, so it's kind of like a brush tool. So, that's pretty much it for today's video. Like I said, I will be making a part 2 on this, maybe even a part 3 later on. But, for now, that's it. If you have any creations that you want to see me make, uh, as always, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. So, that's it for me today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.